I want to show you something that shows the great mercy of God. As over the last number of chapters we've read, you see where we not only read from Second Samuel, but also from Chronicles in these passages. So here, as we're reading, for example, in Second Samuel 8, you then go to First Chronicles 18, and here's another example, Second Samuel 8, and then First Chronicles 18. So it's like the passages are, are almost exactly the same. It's almost like I have to read them, you know, a section, and then I read almost the exact same thing from a section of Chronicles. And I'm sure as you've read the Bible, you've recognized that. But to read them right back to back is interesting. You know, the, the comparisons between... Well, here's another. I'm like, you got 2 Samuel 10, and then in 1 Chronicles 19, again, 2 Samuel 10, and then First Chronicles 19. But now here's the mercy of God. The sin of David was recorded in Second Samuel 11. But you won't find it in First Chronicles. God didn't choose to repeat it. Just posted it one time. It's mentioned, this passage is mentioned in 1 Kings, but that's it. And it doesn't tell the sin either. It says, save only in the matter of Uriah, Uriah the Hittite, or Uriah as we call him. 